Today, we're with Craig Nickel, founder and CEO of Graphene Manufacturing Group. This is an Australian clean tech company that produces graphene from natural gas and sells it in products that improve things like air conditioning efficiency. Craig, start us off uh, by walking us through your business, like what kind of products you're selling to who, plus what kind of competitive advantages you have compared to other graphene production. Great question. So we've got three products available right now. One is an additive for uh, your engine to save fuel efficiency, recorded up to 10% uh, in, in our studies, 10% fuel saving, which is obviously a massive saving. Uh, another is a, an ad- a coating which you, you spray onto the air conditioning condensed coil or other heat exchangers, and that's sitting at about a, you know, anywhere from 10 to 30% of fuel saving or energy saving, obviously with electricity this time. The third product we have is actually added to for lithium ion uh, batteries to, to improve them. And that's called a product called Super G. So those three products are out um, and we're developing a fourth product, which is an aluminium ion battery, which is in development stage. Now, um, those four products all come from our graphene. And the main reason why we choose those products is because of how the graphene performs. And that's largely due to how we make it. And that is from natural gas and our own plasma that we've built. Um, now after, after nine years of, of running. So it's all, um, I guess, hand in glove. It all comes from knowing graphene, all comes from knowing those applications. And that is why we're in those markets because that graphene does so well in those applications we're talking about. Well, that product you mentioned about um, uh, the coating, it doubles heat transfer in air conditioners. Congrats on winning product of the year actually on this in Australia. How are you scaling this product globally and what's happening with US sales? Yeah, we're, so we're approved in basically every country on this planet to sell, uh, apart from America, where they're going through an EPA approval process. Uh, we, we're very hopeful to get that approval by the end of the year. Uh, we have one of the largest uh, companies in, in distribution already signed up as a partner called New Calgon in America. And that is um, the market, the biggest market for uh, air conditioning coatings. Uh, it's, it's the, um, not just the, the number of air conditioners, but it's also quite a, a, a quite accustomed to, you know, coating uh, air conditioners usually for corrosion protection. So we're waiting for that EPA approval to start bulk uh, significant revenue into the American market, which also includes Canada, Mexico, and, and the Caribbean as well. So um, otherwise, our sales are expanding. We are focused on our new palletized stock, which is the first we understand first palletized stock of. Uh, as in lots of stock on, on boxes in, in pallets um, in the world of graphene products. Um, and that is for our air conditioning coating, our G lubricant, when we just announced that last week. And that means distributors around the world can actually buy this in pallets and distribute through their stores in any country in the world. There's 16 languages on, on these products. So, you know, they're ready to go, ready to be used. And we think that's going to really enable our product to get to market Um you know, in, in various fashions and various forms in, in, in languages and in different countries. And teach us about your other product, uh, the lubricant um, that can actually help to reduce engine friction up to 8% fuel is what I've read on your deck. How are you competing with big oil companies and getting customers to try it? Yeah, so I'm from Big Oil. I've spent 20 years uh, in Shell. I was actually marketing manager for Shell Lubricants for Oceania for quite a while. And uh, in a former life. So I understand big oil quite well. Um, I understand it takes them many years to bring a product to market. Um, in fact, you know, five years is probably what they, they would genuinely get. You know, if they got that in five years, they would probably think that was fast. We've taken nine years to develop this brand new technology. Um, and it's, we are the only ones that have got it there. Uh, it's soon to be, you know, the pattern will soon be coming through. Um, so we're actually not, in a way, uh, competing with big oil in that space. We can help them accelerate their opportunity to reduce their emissions and obviously make them more money as well, because the additive is obviously um, able to be distributed through them. So the the construct we have right now is we've got a palletized stock available for people to distribute the product into automotive stores and also large truck stores. Um, that's that's there, ready available. We have seen approaches from large oil companies to wanting to test, wanting to work with us. Um, that'll take some time. In the meantime, we're, uh, and, you know, may not get there um, because we have got something that's really quite disruptive and quite unique. 
Um, but we're open open to that. Um, in the meantime, we're building our own distribution uh, system around the world for our palletized stock, and we think that's going to bring significant revenue for us, which is obviously what our shareholders want. Well, the other um, part of your business, uh, graphene aluminum ion battery development, is something that also caught my eye, and you already mentioned it. Um, how mm. do these type of batteries compare to lithium ion batteries um, in terms of performance and safety? Plus, what's realistic in terms of timeline for getting this to commercialize? Yeah, so we're holding uh, about two years away from commercial uh, production. Uh, we're currently in stage four of development. We're very excited about where that is. The real reason why people would use a graphene element in my battery is it's very fast charging and it's very safe. It basically doesn't really heat up. Um, we've shown that in numerous press releases and, and, and documents. Um, so now uh, what we're focused on is optimizing the chemistry. And this is a brand new technology using the aluminium iron. And, and that very nicely goes with graphene. Now graphene enables faster charging because it takes the heat out. And the aluminium iron is a very fast iron to charge. Um, and it's got three electrons rather than lithium, which is one electron. But generally people want to use a, an, an aluminium iron battery uh, so that they can make it faster charging. I think we're all, you know, a little bit, uh, somewhat disappointed in having to charge a car, uh, you know, it, minimum generally half an hour to really it's it's a couple of hours if you want to get a full charge and a good charge. Um, the graphene aluminium ion battery can do that much faster as a, as a cell technology. Um, it is definitely the fastest charging battery out there. You're talking five minutes to fully charge uh, and, and it's got a very long life. And that's why people are very interested in it. That's why we're working with Rio Tinto, one of the largest mining companies in the world. If they are sitting with a 30 minute charge with a lithium ion battery, they would likely have to double their fleet size for trucks. Whereas if they sit with a five minute charge, they can pretty much keep, keep the same number of tr trucks. It's a fundamental difference in cost structure. And that's what one of the reasons why we're really driving this battery to the end game. And as I said, in two years time, we expect to see that into commercial production. We're working with one of the best battery innovation centers in the world, which is at Indiana in America. Uh, and there we're working hand in glove with them, uh, making cells every day, including in our own battery uh, development center in Brisbane as well. And, uh, you know, we can read that you're in the midst of investing in a bigger production facility as well for GMG. How do you plan to meet growing demand here and uh, what markets are most important? I believe it sounded like it's the US. Tell yeah, us. so Americans is definitely uh, important to us. To us, North America is is obviously the largest transport use of transport fuel, liquid fuel, um, and also air conditioning systems. Uh, also, air conditioning manufacturing. Top air conditioning manufacturing is done in America. About um, fifty billion dollars worth of air conditioning manufacturing happens in America every year, uh, and and so and also. There's a new markets opening up for lithium batteries, which we'd love to be able to help and, and support with our additive uh, graphene super G. Uh, so, but it, long term, we see us as a uh, kind of North American Australian company where we would also have operating plants. One of our largest cost inputs um, is natural gas. And of course, we have some pretty low cost natural gas in America and in Canada. We're, we're basically sequestering that carbon into a product that then goes and saves emissions. And then we make hydrogen as a byproduct. So, you know, we tick multiple boxes, uh, and we're very high value outcome. Uh, so that looking at, you know, where we can expand into America is one of the things that we'll be looking at next year. And, you know, that we're very much looking forward to that once we have, uh, you know, more uh, systems locked away in the next couple of months. And we've got the business progressed. I think expansion into North America is really that next thing we're, we're really quite excited about. Mm -hmm. Well, it's always difficult to unpack all of this material in such a short amount of time. But as you go here, and we're, we're here at the end of the interview, can you walk us through a couple of things in the near term that you want investors to watch for that will show that GMG is successfully uh, moving from development to real revenue? Yeah, and one of those things is um, clearly the EPA approval and that we have orders conditional on the EPA. And, and once that approval comes, which we expect this side of Christmas, we should be able to kick into that significant revenue uh, with our partner, New Calgon, into the Americas. Uh, the next one is definitely different distributors uh, signing on to our palletized stock around the world. 
we have progressed in a number of different areas and we feel that that will uh, come uh, through shortly, uh, then, you know, we should have an announcement on our battery development. Uh, battery is, you know, in, a, in quite a exciting stage, uh, it's something that you can never really summarize completely until you really know it's all there. It's a quite a um, complex piece to be able to put into a par paragraph or two. So we'll, we'll wait for that to happen at the right time. We look to, um, to come out on that. And then we should have some updates on Super G, uh, our additive for the lithium one battery. Uh, we've been doing exciting work there, but once it's finalized, we'll be able to come out on that. There's many other uh, items to be quite honest, and I couldn't tell you which one of those will come first or, or the others uh, amongst the others. Uh, so it is an exciting space to watch. And it's, uh, as you said, been about a, a under a decade of kind of working quietly. And now you're, it seems like there's been or are going to be a lot of um, uh, milestones, curves to the business. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's what happens once you've, you've done the hard work, you know, um, nine years of work. Um, and, you know, you start to see some really amazing things come out. Our patents start awarding. People start to see our industry awards. People start to see how amazing our product is and how different it is to any other product. There is no other complete upstream, upstream, downstream graphene integrated company in the world. We are the only one. And that's something that even that alone is amazing. And we've done that. And now we're going on to the bigger and greater things of having a fully palletized, inventorized stock, which no other company in the world has done with graphene as well. So, you know, next year we'll have all that flowing, distributors on board, America flowing, um, battery announcements, Super G announcements. And, you know, the next stage, which is their growth into American uh, and Canadian um, graphene plants. Uh, which, you know, really will, will make it clear we're going to be one of the um, big success stories of this new material, for sure. Well, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, thanks, Craig, for being here to introduce the story to the audience today. Thank you, Tom. All right, Craig Nickel of uh, Graphy Manufacturing Group. We'll make sure tickers are fully below, but you can go to co.ca, search GMG, to see what investors may be saying about the company. Thanks for watching.